All right, team, thank you so much for coming in on such short notice. It's a very exciting time here at Yeezy. We just announced that John Wexler will be the new head of the department. So we need to come up with some great ideas to really wow him. We want to give a great first impression. Also, I want to, I want to apologize for all of the dust. We're actually redoing the entire HVAC system. Apparently, there was some kind of toxin in the air that made Kanye unable to see colors like red, blue, green, etc etc so we're working on that so we apologize for the dust right now it's a little messy but it'll eventually get cleaned up so with mr wexler coming on board we need to think of some great names for colorways for new yeezy models so let's brainstorm what's that again i sneezed no i really like that that's a very good idea dude what no that's a really good name for a colorway Possibly some kind of yellowish brown. Maybe a really light tan kind of colorway. Very good stuff. Um, does anyone else have any ideas for names for colorways for New Yeezy model? Achoo! Ooh, that's a really good one. How do you say that again? I didn't say anything. Mmm, I like that. Maybe it'll be like a, like a pale brown. Or maybe some kind of like dark off-white kind of color. Yeah, I like that. That's very good. Yes, yeah. That's actually the name of a colorway already, but I like where your head is. So these are all very good ideas. Thank you guys so much for putting in the time. I will take these great colorway names up to Mr. Wexler, and uh, we will continue to make the same shoe for the next four years. Good job, guys. Let's go. Team Adidas. <laughs> If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Whatever. I'm just running out of ideas to do in the beginning of these videos. Ah, whoops, don't mess my cord up. Hello! Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another edition of the world famous Beatlebox Friday. I must be Mitch. Hi, welcome to the channel. You can follow me on social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter at the handle on your screen right now. And below that is my website. It's called Ransom Note Sneakers. That is where you can find all the shoes that we're pulling out of this box today for sale, unless they sell on GOAT before that. Hello, pals! very aggressive. I didn't mean to scream at you. This box is from Soul Supremacy, my favorite place to get boxes. Soul Supremacy is a shop outside of Oakland, California that has a membership only beater box program. They will be opening up memberships in the new year, so be sure to follow them on Twitter. Turn on post notifications because that's how you're going to find out how to get yourself a member. Shit! This box was $925 plus 40 bucks to ship it here to Chicago, Illinois for a grand total of $965. These boxes are priced under market, so there's a really good chance we're gonna make some money on them, so go ahead, follow along with whoop, the counter. Its name is Clarence. Yep, it's going to be letting you know how much each shoe is worth on the secondary market based on size, condition, and other various aspects? No. Traits? No. And then we're gonna break it down at the end to show you how much the box is worth versus how much I paid because we want to make money on these. So let's open the box and see what's going on in here. Cool, we got ourselves an open beater box, but before we jump into it, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Rishuminator, the my choice for cleaning product of the millennium. All the worn shoes in this box are gonna be cleaned with Rejuvenator products, so they're gonna be clean, they're gonna be disinfected. If they need to be, they will be deodorized and stuff like that. Uh, but the big thing I wanna talk about today is the brushes. Here's the brushes. There's three different brushes. There's a soft bristle brush, which is great for creating a lather with your cleaning material, but this is great on suede. You have a medium bristle brush, which I'm gonna put in the middle now. Ha! Medium bristle brush, which, brush, which is great for midsoles and also for leather and stuff like that. And then you have a hard, stiff bristle brush, which is great for outsoles and non-painted midsoles. And the nice thing about this pack with the three brushes is it comes with a four ounce bottle of Rejuvenator cleaning solution. So be sure to use my code SBMitch 10 at checkout if you're gonna get yourself a little pack some brushes so if say you have a family member or a roommate who just has dirty shoes or you may have stepped in a puddle or may have stepped into a 
portal and got some interdimensional gunk on your sneakers, or perhaps you were running in the sewer from four adolescent turtles and got some ooze on your shoe. The brushes along with the cleaning solution will make your shoes look phenomenal. So remember, Reshuvenator.com, SB Mitch 10, save yourself 10% off of your order from Reshuvenator. Hey, now that that's, that's done, let's look at the box. So it does not look like there are any loose shoes, but I do see some classic Jordan boxes. So that's very exciting to me. So this first shoe out, this is a box from a pack. Oh boy, this is really testing my knowledge. Uh, Maybe it's the gold metal pack, I don't remember. But it's an Air Jordan 6, here it is. I think this might be gold, I don't remember which pack this came from. But the information's on your screen right now. But this is a worn pair, this is a size 10 and a half. You can see there's not really much wear, there's very little toe box crease, and it comes with the lace locks, which is great. The outsole is just a little bit dirty, which will be cleaned up. These are in great shape, so there's your first shoe out. Air Jordan 6, I don't remember which pack this is. Man, I'm dumb. Next up, we got a Jordan 11. This is a newer 11, looks like. It's a size nine, nope, it's an eight. It's a size nine Air Jordan 8 retro. So these are the South Beach 8s that, oof. Let me try that again. These are the South Beach 8s that just came out. There you go. You can see some of the South Beach colorway on the side panel and on the midsole and on the tongue. Very lightly worn. It's a size nine, comes with the extra laces. I'm sure these pink laces would super pop on the shoe. There you go, size nine, <coughs> Air Jordan 8. I really don't like eights, but who cares what I think? Got an orange Nike box. This is a size eight and a half. Uh, I think this is the sunset colorway. These have some wear on them. You can see the bottoms are pretty worn. A little bit of dirt on the midsole. I don't know if that's stains or if it's gonna come off, but we'll try and give it a shot. But good size too, eight and a half. Um, yeah, these are, in, these are in good shape with a replacement box. So there you go, there's your third shoe out. I wanna do these classic, oh, maybe these are just newer boxes. Yeah, the boxes would be a little bit more beat up. This is a size nine Jordan 12. Well, there's this. It's a size nine, pair of 12s that are all red. They're ugly, folks. A little bit of wear on the bottoms. They just need cleaned up. Nothing really to say about these. It's a red 12. If you're into that, that's cool, I guess. Uh, there you go, boom. All red shoes, let me clarify. I do have shoes that have red in them, but all red shoes, no thank you. It's an Air Max 95 and an eight and a half. I don't know what this colorway is called. It says crystal blue. Crystal Boo Persuasion. Man, these are super lightly worn. Looks like one of them was tried on. Maybe, I don't know. These are tried on probably, but it's this really nice colorway in a size eight and a half. I don't know if they're dead stock or tried on or if they're worn. So I'm going to look at them later. I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes looking at a shoe on video because that's a waste of time. So eight and a half comes with the original box. This is a really cool colorway. I really do not mind this at all. Cool. Those are neat looking. And I don't like 95s either. So we got two more in here. It's a white Nike, looks like a Jordan box. Nope, it's a, it's a foam posit. Ooh, got an air foam posit one supreme. But this is that ugly paisley one. Oh yeah, it totally is. These are, these are, oof, these are, these are worn. They're ugly, but they're supreme. So idiots are gonna want them. So you do have supreme branding on the tongue but you have the one cent on the back like most foam posits. Uh, there's a little bit of branding all over the upper. The upper is in pretty decent shape. Doesn't look like there's any massive scuffs or anything like that. Outsole is just a little bit discolored and a little bit dirty. So these will probably clean up really nice. Like most foam posit boxes, the box is lids torn up, but you know, it is what it is. So there you go. Supreme foam posit one. These are from like 2012, right? Something like that. Yeah, it looks like it. 2013 maybe. We got one more in here. It's a size 12 Air Max 98 Supreme. So we're rounding off the box with a brand I really just don't care about. So this is a size 12 pair of the Air Max 98 collaboration with Supreme from like 2015 maybe, 2016. This is the snakeskin colorway. This is a size 12 as well. These are in okay shape. A uh, little bit of wear on the bottom. You can see some of the tread is worn off. Should clean up pretty well. I had a pair of the black ones. They sold pretty quick, but looks like most of the branding on the insole is gone. Dang, those last two shoes are definitely worth the box. Air Max 98 Supreme snakeskin colorway. Huh, that's a weird way to end a box. I know Supreme is worth some money, so let's take a look at the breakdown and see how much money we might make on this box. So 
we had seven shoes, all had boxes. Some of them were replacement. This is a pretty good box in my opinion. The uh, 900 to like 1500 boxes have been really killing it lately. So thanks again to Rejuvenator for sponsoring this video. Remember to use my code SBMitch10 at Rejuvenator.com. It'll save you 10% off your entire order. If you're interested in any of these shoes, go to my website today at six o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. It's called Ransom Note Sneakers and that's where you can find them for sale. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Remember to like and subscribe if this is something you dig. If it's something you don't dig, dislike it so you don't have to see my stupid face anymore. Till next time, take care of each other and remember, they're just sneakers. They should be fun. So go ahead, make it fun for you and for everybody. Why not? Bye!